crafters welcome back to my channel choose joy with Carmen and today is Valentine's Day and also Ash Wednesday so I am doing something a little different on my channel uh, for the next 40 days hopefully um, I can figure out a plan but um, one thing I wanted to share with you all is how much I, how much my faith is so important to me. And one thing that I love to do is Bible journal, but I like to do it like illustrating it because I love card making and I love scrapbooking and I just love the whole paper crafting part of doing my, my uh, Bible journaling. So, um, each week, usually, I have a friend that comes over and we take time and we Bible journal together and we talk about God or whatever study we're doing. And this is one that I am working on currently. I haven't finished it yet, but let me pull this over, try to get it in the camera here. So, um... This is from Psalm 118, and basically what I'm doing is I love this psalm because it starts off with, you know, talking about give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever, and then let Israel say his love endures forever, and let the house of Aaron say his love endures forever. And let those who fear the Lord say his, his love endures forever. So I decided I wanted to do this page on his love endures forever. And I'm trying to learn how to print on sticker paper so that I can have it transparent. But I did a little experiment this morning and I don't think that I'm doing such a great job. I have to figure out how to get it to not smear. Maybe it's the type of uh, sticker paper I'm using. So I will be doing some research on that. But I had some rub-ons that we used and I love the rub-ons on the page. And I had one of these, um, you know those vinyl things that you put on walls and on different objects. I had some old ones of those and we were able to put them in here. And then I had some um, uh, punch outs, I guess they're called, and I just wrote on them. But what I decided to do since I'm doing my, pay, my designing on this side, I didn't want to miss out on the verses that was on this page. So what I did is I had the 1A verse here and um, and I say 1A because I just say, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. So that's going to be the main theme. And then I've got my 2A, Let Israel say, his love endures forever. 3A, Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. And then 4A, I have, Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. And then I'll put those in there. And then I'll do my journaling. I like to do some, my reflection and my conversation with God on my pages. So I'll probably do that in this area. And then I'll highlight the last verse. Because it starts out as the first verse. Uh, which is, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. So I'll highlight that. Because that's verse... Um, 29. So that'll, that is kind of what I do um, on Fridays with a friend. We like to Bible journal. And I just wanted to share that with you. But what I'm doing, because, uh, let me close this up and move it out of the way. What I did was last year sometime, I can't even remember. I tried to go back and look. I had bought my uh, Heidi Swap Rolodex for memory decks cards, and I just hadn't had a chance to start them. So I've been thinking about how I wanted to start it and how I wanted to show it on my YouTube channel and all that. 
and I started this thing today since it's the beginning of Lent. Now, I don't, I, I am not one who, I've tried giving up something during Lent. Um, but I've also realized that it's not about giving up something necessarily. It's, it could be something that you're going to add uh, that is going to enhance your life or your relationship with Christ. So I'm starting this thing. It's called um, Praying. It's a challenge, and it's called Praying the Promises of the Cross. And it's from Jen and a AJ from Sojo Academy. And so basically I thought, you know what? This would be a great time to do some um, memory decks cards with the 40 days of promises that we're going to be reading, you know, up from now up until Easter. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself to uh, be able to do a memory decks card for each of the promises for each of the days during Lent. Now, to me, that, um, you know, when people give up something for Lent, they want to make sure that it's something that's very hard for them to do as a representation of the sacrifice that Christ did for us. And so you want to be able to give up something that is going to be difficult to give up, that is going to be hard uh, to give up. So if, if you don't like something, like let's say I'm not a big um, whatever, I don't eat candy all that often. So to, to give up candy for me would be crazy because it wouldn't be very, it wouldn't be much of a sacrifice because it's not something that I um, love. Now I remember one year, a long, 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 long time ago, I tried giving up Mexican food because I love Mexican food. That was very, very difficult. But I think mine is going to be doing a memory dex card for each of the promises each day. I think that is going to be uh, something very hard for me to do because I also want to share it with you all. And so I'm going to have to uh, get creative with my memory dex cards every day. And I'm I'm gonna I'm not so sure I'm gonna do a video every day. That's the part I'm still trying to figure out. Or if I'm going to, I mean, doing a video every day would be very very hard for me. So maybe that's what I need to do because that would be a sacrifice, right? So we'll see um, how that goes. I'm gonna try to work it out here how I want to do this whole next 40 days with these promises but I just wanted to come on and share that with you so I did work on my first one this morning and like I said I'm still struggling with learning how to um, print on sticker paper so um, I had I had to work around that and so that's something I'm going to be learning more of but what I went ahead and did is I used some scraps from this paper pack here. And what is this one called? Most Adored. And I've used it on a card before in a video. I think it was for Craft Roulette. And I will link that video at the end of this video to show you that card. I fell in love with that card. Um... So I will show that to you, and it was all about Jesus also. So let's pull in my first memory dex card that I made. So here it is, and what I thought, um, I had seen this, this love is not February 14th, love is John 3.16. And I fell in love with that. Now, I was going to take the time and create that myself. But because I just decided to do this 
this morning, I went ahead and purchased this um, off of Etsy, this printable. And then what I did was I tried um, printing it on sticker paper, but then like I said, it was smearing. So I gotta figure that out. So I thought, well, let me try printing it directly on the designer paper. And so that's what I did. But um, if you noticed, I accidentally printed it on paper as well. But if you notice, um, the hearts are a little uh, more on the pinkish side and I really wanted them to be more red. So the hearts that were on here were perfect, the color I wanted to match my designer paper. So I went ahead and fussy cut them out since I kind of messed this up with the smearing. And I went ahead and just laid them over the hearts that were printed on that designer paper. And then I added a piece of some more of that designer paper at the bottom there. And the one thing that I love about um, doing these types of challenges is writing scripture out to me is very important. And I love writing out scripture. So what I'm going to do on my memory decks is cards is on the back side. I'm going to write out my scripture for that day. And then because I might use different versions, um, I'll put the version of the, of the verse that I'm going to be uh, writing them from. So today I chose to use it from the ESV. And then I found this Jesus is my Valentine. And that also was um, a printable that I purchased on Etsy. And that that is on sticker paper. I don't, and I don't know that you can really see much of the smearing. So I went ahead and used it. But I did add some more of that paper at the bottom. But then it was really, really stark white. And I was like, oh, I need to add a little more. So I did some sponging around the edges with the real red and then I did that on the front side too so the other challenge was was figuring out here is my first printout on that designer paper and if you could see the difference in the color of the hearts and how I wanted it to be more red and that's why I cut out those hearts from that sticker paper that I did but it was also a challenge to learn how my paper needs to go in my printer because when I did this first one, the hearts were upside down. So this is going to be quite a learning process, but I think that's what's good. And it's good for me to share that with you all because I figure, you know, we can all learn from each other. So if any of you out there know the trick to printing on sticker paper, I would be very appreciative if you would share your thoughts on that. Um, I, like I said, I am going to go do some research on it and from other Bible journalers to see how they do it or maybe they use a different kind of sticker paper than I was using. So anyway, and I did purchase the, uh, a long time ago when I purchased my Rolodex, I did purchase the punch so that I could punch out, you know, so that it would fit on here. Now, I'm not so sure that I will always make them square because I kind of like to have maybe a rounded top. I might have like a tab on some of them. So it's going to be a journey for sure. But now I have my first memory decks card that I can pop into my Rolodex here. And then I have my scripture on the back. And so it's going to be nice because it's really good to, to always go back to God's promises. For me, it helps me to remember what he has promised us. Um, and so I'm going to really enjoy this. I, I, I do believe. And then I'll have them all in one place. 
and you know I could turn it around then and just go through and read each of them however often that I want so so there we go that's gonna be my challenge I still don't know if I'll come on every day <clears throat> um, I'm hoping to but if I find that it's like getting too stressful I might just you know maybe come on every few days and show you the cards that I've made my memory decks cards we'll see I mean only God knows, right, what's going to happen. So I don't like to make a whole lot of plans that way because um, God has a different plan for me and I, I really like to focus on what his plan is. But this is what I really want to do for my memory decks, Rolodex here, is do these promises for the next 40 days. And if it takes me longer than 40 days, well, there's nothing wrong with that either because we always need God's promises, not just during Lent. So I'm looking forward to this challenge and I'm looking forward, forward to sharing it with you all. So I hope you enjoy it as well as I'm going to. So, all righty, well, that's it for me today. And I hope you enjoyed this video and my new challenge and if you did um you can show me your joy by you know what giving me a thumbs up so until my next video remember choose joy and may god bless you all bye bye